all right welcome back in the last episode last chapter we saw the story of nathan and from there we saw what he wants to do what we are going to do in this workflow is we're going to create one Airtable node one http node merge the data and then insert it back into the or update it back into the Airtable. so uh for that we need one Airtable node extracting the existing customer data we'll have to create the air table for that and then we'll need http node for the api integration uh, using the customer keys that were given to us so let's see then data mapping is nothing but the merge and then updating the records is the air table first thing which we will need is an air table let's see how to get the connection or credentials go to my air table and we have the beginner course we have orders and processing which we used in level one now we are going to create a new table or import let me see we can use a google sheet 24 hours uh, we, there is a csv file so what i'm going to do is let's go over here for workflow one we need this data we're going to download the csv all right let's go to our table we're going to import from a csv file we are going to browse from the downloads upload one file create a new table uh, what is the name of this table so customer id is number customer is long test this is long test is fine and customer sense is state perfect so that way we can import it while it is getting imported let's go back to the documentation on your air table account did they give the name of the air table all right customer customers data in the air table it's customer so let's name it as customer is taking a lot of time till that time why don't we go create our workflow and level two create our workflow <coughs> chapter five workflow one one this workflow is about merging the data perfect so create the workflow what we need I have the workflow already so I'm not going to recreate it again all right we're going to copy paste the workflow we don't need this for now so I'm going to disable it air table will have to pick the data once it's created so the table is created I'm going to double click it customer I'm going to increase the font size so that you guys can see it. See the data. I don't need this crap, whatever it is. So now we can see the table pretty clearly. All right. So we have orders and processing, which we used last time. And we have the customer data and we have all these fields. So let's go back. This card will need later on, not right now. Uh, we don't need this okay so the first node which we have is our regular trigger node nothing fancy in there the second node that we need is the air table node all right so <clears throat> how do you get it air table get records right all right let's do a search maybe Business course, we don't need orders, we need customer, we need all the data. <clears throat> Download attachments, why is this field over here? We don't need that. All right, this is the way we get the data. So this is how we got the search records node to delete it. This is that node. So business course record, we are searching. This Okay, beginner course. All right, I got it. The base name is different than what they suggest. So 
this is we got the data we have I created time all the fields that we got from Airtable. This is our Airtable. It's the same data which we are getting over here. Now the next thing which we need to do is our HTTP node. This is the rest countries. So we're getting a um, status code 400 actually because all right we need to give the name region and subregion. all right let's see okay we got it so we have to tell it uh, we have to give the query parameters on what we need from there so in order to do this in the browser what we need to do is slash question mark fields oh, I, I think I saw that all yeah fields is equal to name region sub region and now you get the data this is how you do a get whenever you do it from the browser it's a get we got the data it's over here if you see the JSON uh, name this is the array this is a JSON object and there, there are three items one is name region and sub region name has two things inside it Tunisia Tunisia Republic blah 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 so once you get these two records what we need to do is we need to have a code merge so if you go down it's immediately doing a code merge and it is doing a code merge on what name reason by name not common in the country's API respectively so let's do that so it's saying use the merge data to merge data from Airtable and countries API by country name so it wants us to join by country name so let's get back to our workflow we have the records we got records from here which is from the Airtable and we will get records from here as well uh, it's taking so long from here we're getting around 250 records that we saw over here how to get them now let's add a merge node we're going to append combine we need two inputs what are we going to do is ids to match ah, this thing sucks sometimes it happens that's why i like to pin the data but that's fine all right, we are going to match on the country name. It said, right? Country name. Okay. My geography is pretty bad, so I assume whatever I'm doing is right. Country name. Uh, fields have different names because this is country name. This has common or whatever. So this is country name and this is the common name. We're going to keep the matches and both the inputs merged together. Perfect. We got 10 items. If we see, uh, all right, got the common name, the official name. Perfecto. And what is the next thing? Save. What is the next thing? It needs to update in the record table, uh, air table. We need to update the region and sub region fields. Okay. So we need the same node again. Control C, Control Y. Ah, this is the update node. I think so. Why don't we just create a new one so that you guys know how to do it? Air table update record. Perfecto. Okay. We got this. What is the base beginner? What is the table? Custom bar. We are going to match on ID. All right, that looks good because we do have the ID. Uh, we can even do automatically, you know, and it will take care of it, but I don't want to do that. I want to, we want to do it manually. The way we are going to do it is, I just need to update these two. All right, let's try again. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. It's doing something. 
if I go to the N8 and oh damn look at that look at that we got our data and how many items does the HTTP request node return the HTTP request node returns 250 items if you see over here 250 items the next question is how many items does the merge mode Merge node. Merge node returns 10 items. Uh, how many unique regions are assigned in the customer table? So if you go to the customer table and if you get the unique regions, here's Asia, Europe, Americas, and Oceania. So four. So we got four unique regions. What's the subregion assigned to the customer ID 10? The subregion assigned to the customer ID 10 is Caribbean. All right, so what I'm going to do is for your sake, we are going to create a question and answer section and I'm going to write it. So, quiz, let's come over here. I'm going to let's add another note. Say quiz one. So, how many items does the HTTP node return? 250. Merge node is 10. Unique 4. And customer ID for 10 was something I forgot. Caribbean. So, I can just copy paste this sub region, right? Assign to customer ID 10 is for Caribbean perfect that way we got the answer this is quiz one this is not the actual quiz this is the quiz entrant quiz you can say you know so let's name it green and that way we are done with this workflow we I will see you in the next one